All right, and let's open our nuke. And uh, here we go. That's uh, my assembly. And I think I did a couple of tutorials showing um, how to assemble stuff. I know it uh, might look a little bit complicated for beginners, but let's do something uh, basic and simple here. I'm gonna show you. So uh, let's start from this shot. Uh, the dropping anchor shot. I'm gonna press one, go to this shot. And uh, okay, so this is the original shot. That's what I'm doing. So from here, I'm extracting a bunch of masks and I'm getting passes out, which gives me a much cleaner result. So I'm adding and getting out from RGB, which is a little grainy here. I'm getting this uh, effect result, which is much smoother and cleaner. Then I'm having some shuffling for the water. I'm doing some color corrections, grading, and then exporting this file. So this one is pretty straightforward, uh, but you can see how I'm extracting passes here and giving them different color corrections and then reassembling them back again. I'm going to do some tutorial showing how I can connect all of those passes. Now here on this shot, which was the, the storm shot, this is something interesting happening here. So this is my original. You can see it's got some grain here. And this is the polished one. So again, original, polished. We can see how nicely the effect result is polishing. Um, so I'm also extracting this uh, Z depth pass so I can play with my depth uh, and do the focus, change, change of focus. So I'm changing from uh, being kind of in the back, moving forward with my focus. So uh, sorry, that's only up to 100 frames. So here we need to click on the input so we'll see exactly what's going on here. Okay, so here I'm playing with the Z depth, but um, really nice cool effect I found. It's a free plugin that you can download from Nukepedia and add it. It's called Rainmaker. So this basically makes uh, raindrops, simulates those cool raindrops effect on, uh, on the camera. Um, it gave me some error for not able to have all the functions, so just the basic functions, but you know, that's what I need uh, for that shot. So that was pretty cool, This uh, finding this plugin. Okay, and it kind of fixed a lot of things, because this shot was uh, a little bit uh, empty, in my opinion, and you know, those foreground flashes of the rain kind of gave it really cool... Um, result okay now uh, let's go to more complicated shot i think this the final shot was really complicated so here what i did i rendered twice as i told you so the first one i've rendered you can see it's pretty flat here everything in front because i activated fill up the ocean but i'm getting the ocean all the way at the back so i'm using just that background like the back and all somewhere up to here and I'm mixing it with this guy, which is my foreground. So you can see all the waves here kind of coming up and down. But at the background, I have my uh, HDRI image, which is slightly darker. And it doesn't have any movement on the waves. So I'm mixing this with this. You can see how they kind of different. I'm mixing both of them by using this uh, Z depth map. Actually, I'm inverting that, so I'm using that as a Z depth in order to, oops, in order to merge it. And also doing some grading, uh, exposure, um, and this one is a little bit messed up, <laughs> you know, but uh, the main idea is eventually to. Uh, mix both of those guys and the cool thing is um, right here I'm actually animating the background uh, to make it darker to make it like look like a really storm coming in you know and also doing something for the front and I'm also doing see here this how I'm adding some uh, depth to that and I'm also working with water here I've got I didn't I didn't put the thumbnail for this one 
but let's see this is the water so here you can put a, a thumbnail and see how this stuff works so basically you can increase decrease the water effect as you can see here I'm adding this pass and it's adding nice uh, kind of foam to my image to my render and in the foreground it's adding those cool greenish uh, extra detail to my water so it looks pretty cool I didn't need it to do the water splashes from the rain um, because uh, the, those details kind of covering and um, they are creating enough information in order uh, to make it more realistic all right so uh, mixing those together into something like this and then of course writing it out writing an output so that actually went later on into after effects let me open my after effects so i'm exporting everything as mov file and uh, bringing uh, into premiere or after effects in order to add a little bit more uh, realism to it all right so now we're opening after our after effects as you can see here uh, i've got my sequence and uh, already merged and i've got some lighting effects going on so i use three methods three different methods to do the lighting so um and also the rain if we go here we can find rain effect right here so i added a uh, solid a uh, pass and I put a rain on it so with this rain you can increase the amount of uh, rain you can play with uh, size of your drops uh, how strong size and depth uh, we can play with wind wind direction um, we can also do opacity and we can choose color to the rain so a lot of cool bunch of other extras here that you can work with kind of give it a nice depth all right so it's working uh this rain is okay you know um, for something quick it gives that solution now here i use three different methods to do the light strobe this is uh, a line here that i gave a light strobe if we go here to um, advanced lighting we'll be able to uh, get this lighting here actually this light this one I used at the end so here again you can give a color tone you can change this to blue white any any color that you uh, that you like and you can put it anywhere and then you can limit it now if we take that uh, that light strobe so let me show you I made that lighting I made that lighting effect here which kind of worked nicely so this is with advanced lighting and we also have a light strobe all right so it's called saber so with this saber, um, you can do also a bunch of cool effects. Saber. Uh, let me just create a new... Uh, let's do solid. And if we put saber on it... Here we go, we got saber. So with this, this saber, uh, let me put on blending uh, effect. I'm uh, gonna do add and now we can delete that and create um, we can create another line here and basically and basically we can uh, remove that and then choose layer mask and it will become your all right, so here we also have some uh, bunch of presets that we can use. Uh, I used one of those presets to do uh, to do the, the background lighting. Uh, this one was with the preset, so you can see it's kind of having this multiple 
throw like from the sky kick and then whoosh, the big one okay so this is as far as it goes to that shot that i've made in after effects it's the only thing i made in after effects the rest were just exported straight into premiere and they got in so let me open my premiere and i'll show you uh, how i assembled everything together put some music uh, did some voiceover i found a guy for actually 20 bucks pretty cheap so let's open that all right and here we are in the premiere as you can see here i did a little bit of a color correction here and um just mute this and uh let me just mute those here so you can see here i have sounds for water for this thing whoosh it's passing by and uh basically i'm kind of animating and simulating everything that's happening if it's a drop anchor it's a splashes here and i have this sound of a chain going down um, the land here and like i have the bubbles blue 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 underwater to uh to help you can see how much uh those bottle bubbles at the end became very subtle because uh, i didn't really want to throw them on the frame but they're adding a lot it gives like this whole thing is uh is living underwater uh, organisms and everything this is pretty cool here too uh, and the end Of this is also wind blowing and uh, their logo at the end okay so a uh, very minimal color correction here and there some video effects some uh, fast color correction I put here and there some of them um, uh, horizontal so um, before we go I just uh, want to pay attention on this scenario narrative and uh, I don't epic pen I'm using this tool to help me um, get better animation so if it's underwater here somewhere and the anchor is going down I'm really like painting and, and seeing where this uh, whole thing is going and where it's gonna end so if we take a little bit of how to plan this whole thing uh, this those videos so basically um, you need to go and see where your eye is looking and that's the thing that I learned from my animation uh, degree that I did so we're going here we looking kind of here somewhere right and then we end up looking at those guys now this new shot comes in our eyes is somewhere right here right we're looking and then the minute next shot kicks in boom i'm like right here i'm still having the same spot and now it's following now it's following uh, it's coming from top all the way down it's going down all the way here and then it ends right here at that spot so my next shot is going to be right here you know and while I was doing this animation, I have noticed something uh, that I'm actually breaking a rule, one of the most important rules. It's called 180 rule. So basically, I have a line and I need to follow that line. Okay. So if I'm going from left to right, that's the motion, boom, boom, right? I'm going down here and I'm going to this direction. So left to right. So my line of action is this here I have to keep my line of action so basically what I needed to do is to have this guy flipped in order to have the left to right continuously and then this guy also flipped right here also flipped in order to maintain this left to right thing now 
when I didn't have any effects on it, it was very noticeable. But uh, when I started putting effects, then it kind of started working all together. And the main the main reason was is just when I was finishing here, right, and my next shot supposed to start from here. But if it was flipped, it was about here. So I had to take decision if should I break the rule of 180 and flip the camera, you know, in order to have that continuation left to right thing, or you know, just ignore the rules and uh, flip it. And go with the eye where the eye sees in order to make it more floaty and it actually worked you know i broke this rule you know rules are meant to be broken but um you know you gotta know uh, when to do it and how to do it otherwise it's gonna look awkward and just gonna throw you off this whole thing so um it kind of works actually really good here even though i'm breaking the left to right direction and i'm flipping the camera and changing the 180 rule I'm still kind of continuing and working uh, the whole boat. It's kind of fascinating. It doesn't throw me off. I, I let it. Uh, I let few people watch it and get comments, and they said nothing. Nothing throws me off. I just want to keep watching what's going on. So that's a good. Um, that's a good indicator that everything works fine. All right. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this um presentation walk through mentos anchors if you have any questions or things that you want to explore and go in depth please post them below this video and i'll be more than glad to uh, do those tutorials for you all right so again 2020 is a big thing we're opening strong uh wish you all the best lots of love success and keep it up this is alex your beer guy Tuxu. ciao